Hello and welcome to Monday Night Raw. <laughs> Hi guys, bienvenue sur ma channel. My name is Ifeoloa Ishala. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to the family. Do not forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification post, and give this video a thumbs up. So guys, it's been a long time that we've discussed wrestling and everybody not like relationship, who not like love thing, Abby. But today, I will be talking about wrestling and we are talking about money in the bank. This sound like something. It's not even if this sound. This is something you must be interested in. Come on, son. All right, the show which marked the return of the live audience to WWE and goodbye to Thunderdome was the money in the bank, which took place on Sunday the 19th in Dixie's Fort, Texas. Now, we had seven amazing matches that blew us off our seats and we were so excited. Particularly me, I was so excited with the results that we got. So, in no particular order, let's get started. First is the women's money in the bank match. Now, this was a group of match within this women Asuka, Naomi, Alexa Bliss, Nikki Cross, Liv Morgan, Zelina, Natalia, and Terminal as they battled with the ladder to get their ends on the money in the bank briefcase. The shocking part of the show was when Alexa Bliss tried to get her powers to summon the briefcase to fall, but darkness cannot comprehend light yes that's what my bible told me the ladies ganged up on alexa bliss and buried her on the ladders at the ringside now these women gave themselves high blood pressure and not me as they were all close to grabbing the briefcase but the bible being so complete the last became the first as nikki cross climbed over everyone on the three ladders set on the stage to emerge as the women money in the bank winner of 2021 seriously i did not say nikki cross beating all this set of women i mean we had naomi we had alexa bliss we had tamina we had asuka all of them like that and nikki cross imagine as the winner of the women money in the bank for 2021 i mean that was amazing now moving on to the next is the wwe championship match which was between Bobby Lashi versus Kofi Kingston. Now, my heart was in my mouth before this match began because it was of a case of Cat versus Lion, but then I was thinking probably we'll have another case of David and Goliath. You know the story, right? Or you don't. If you don't, that means you did not attend children's Sunday school when you were a child. Anyway, Kingston charged hard from the opening bell, but they fired up Lashley, quickly overpowered him before dropping Kingston with a huge lariat. Now, Lashley continued to dominate the match, throwing Kingston around the ring Try. I know when you should move. Anyway, Lashley put Kingston out of mystery by locking him in the hot lock to retain back his belt as the WWE champion. Now, Lashley has been proving over and over again that he is the first to reckon with because waiting for 17 years to get his hand on the belt and now just releasing it like that is going to take a long time before they're going to get that belt from him. Now, on to the next is the Raw Women's Championship match. This is between Raw Ripley versus Charlotte Flair. The queen needs some training on courtesy and manners. Uh, how can you be giving us the fans? We, your fans, oh, middle finger. Uh -uh. Are we the one that says we should be seeing during the, the biggest show of all shows at WrestleMania and not come to the match? Anyway, these women gave themselves back to back in all sincerity. I enjoyed the match. Now, Flair eats natural selection from the top row for a very convincing them for drawing a huge reaction from the crowd. Flair locked in the figure eight to force the tab and regain the championship match, which followed by an aggressive chant of, We want Becky. Now, I feel this is like, um, this is a prelude to Becky Lynch coming back to the ring because now everybody want Becky back to the ring because of course she was the original owner of the WWE Women's Championship match before she had to go on a compulsory maternity leave and now everybody is saying they want back Becky Lynch because it's as if Charlotte Fair is not worthy to be holding the Women's Raw Championship match. Whatever it is, we are looking forward to having Becky Lynch back into the ring now moving on is the men's money in the bank now this was a match between ricochet john morrison redo dream mcintyre big e kevin owens nakamura and seth rollins now the fact that this match started with rollins and morrison arguing about who truly had a drip i mean it's a clear cut because i feel i will go for seth rollins because seth is always giving us back-to-back -back fashion sense anyway let me know in the comment section which are you going for between seth rollins and john morrison who has the more drip i feel it's seth Rollins has more drip. Jamorison is more handsome, but I feel everybody just have their own way. You get like 
they are important in their home way but having the most drip i'll definitely go for set rollins Anyway, this match was not less of what we expected because we had amazing, amazing superstars in the ring battling up to who's going to clap, clap the lighter to get the briefcase. Now, the match took an unexpected turn when Jinder Mahal and his cohort ran in and attacked McIntyre and dragged him to the back. Ricochet had one of the most iconic moments of the match when he leaped from a ladder as Riddle was tipping it over, eating the top rope and flipping onto the group of the outside. Now, that was Joe dropping amazing yes as rolling seems ready to grab the briefcase big e caught him and hit the big ending of the ladder big e then climbed the ladder and grabbed the briefcase to win the match now i would have loved to see ricochet winning because trust me ricochet gave us some amazing amazing moves during the match but then i guess big e used his bigness hmm, to his advantage and emerge as the winner of the main money in the bank 2021 now let's move on talking about the raw tag team championship match now this was between aj styles and almost versus the viking raiders for as long as almost is in the picture the rock tag team belts will not go around i mean nobody will be able to collect that belt from almost have you seen the almost his big stature alone is enough to intimidate people from getting that belt. Anyway, moving on, Styles continue to be the work us for the team as expected as someone has limited at almost, but it is a formula that continues to work for the team. AJ Styles and almost defeated the Viking Raiders to retain their titles as the World Tag Team Champion. Now, still on the Tag Team Championship match, we talk about the SmackDown Tag Team Championship. This was between the Mysterious versus the Usos. The father and son, Ray and Dominic Mysterio, defended the title against Jay and Jimmy Usos. The Usos dominated the early part of the match, alternating taking the fight to both Ray and Dominic Mysterio. Dominic received a hot tag to take over on Jimmy Uso, eating a Springbok moonsault for a two count. Now, the Usos eventually fought back only to have Dominic get back into the action to break up a double super kick from the Usos. Now, Ray survived the top rope slash and therefore emerging as the new SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Now, this was heartbreaking because Ray Mysterio and Dominic no longer have the title. We now have a new champions in our hands. And for as far as I can remember, Usos remain the longest tag team champions, especially in SmackDown. And now they are back to take the belt. And I'm so excited for that. But at the same time, it was fun while the father and son reigned as the SmackDown tag team champions. Now guys, to the most exciting match that I know you're all waiting for me to talk about, which is the Universal Championship match. But before I talk about that, have you subscribed? Please, do not let all this effort go into waste, you understand? Please, please hit the subscribe button and do well to drop your comments in the comment section. Now, moving on to the Universal Championship match. This was between Roman Reigns versus the Super Rated Star Edge. The match started with the two superstars showing us a lot of gamesmanship. Now, we all thought Edge was in for a win when Roman Reigns missed a spell driving him through the barricade. But when God said, if I am for you, we can be against you, Edge stopped the referee 10 count to spell Reigns through the barricade for the second time now the match took another turn when roman reigns hit the referee with a superman punch after Ed dodge now that led to the referee to what a long sleep yeah now usos came in to save their cousin but were taken out by the mysterious shortly after seth rollins also make his way into the ring to super kicked edge before walking off after so much back and forth roman reigns defeated edge to retain back the universal title match now when we all thought that was the end when we thought okay oh, money in the bank has come to an end roman reigns pick up the microphone to announce to the audience that now everybody can acknowledge him as the head of the table suddenly people suddenly he came as a shock john cena's theme song it's the all and everybody was amazed yeah roman reigns was in shock but he was at utmost delight to we ww fans because we have missed the corner of the you can see me now justina made his way into the ring and without saying a word only made the gesture of you can see me to roman reigns and then left the ring now of course we all know what that means it means that roman reigns will not only be able to see john cena physically but he's definitely going to see his handwriting in the locker room now guys we've come to the end of this video i really hope that you enjoy now before i go do what to drop in the comment section which of these matches were you excited about and now we have two main superstars that 
Now we'll be returning to WWE very, very soon, talking about John Cena and of course the man Becky Lynch. Now I want to know how excited you are in the comment section. Thank you so much for sticking to this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye.